Dear students, congratulations for successfully completing lesson on Introduction to Information Sources, Systems and Services, Concept and Need for Information during the first week of this 15 weeks course on Information Sources, Systems and Services. This was your very first exposure to the concept of information sources information services and information systems. Here you were introduced to the basic concepts of information, the characteristics of information, difference between information sources and resources, importance of information services for library users and the need for information systems in our information infrastructure. There has always been a noticeable gap between the produced information, available information and the end users. The modern technologies, especially the computer and the telecommunications technologies have enabled the present day information professionals to bridge this gap and make available library services to all categories of users in a very easy and efficient manner. Several international organizations and systems have also come forward to help close this wide gap by their programs and activities. Having been introduced to the concept of information sources, information services and information systems, you are now ready to take the next lesson on types of information sources that is documentary, non-documentary and sources for current information in the second week of the course.